Capital Loans A working capital loan is a short-term loan that gives you the funds you need to help your business succeed and develop. The benefits and drawbacks of receiving a working capital loan are the benefits and drawbacks of borrowing money. The money you use to keep your business running on a daily basis are referred to as working capital. It can include expenses such as revenue generation, taxes, overhead, staff compensation, and other necessary expenses. Even profitable businesses may not have adequate working capital on hand at times. Let's talk about capital loans. Benefits and drawbacks or restrictions. Capital loans benefits. Before you can get a loan from a typical bank, you'll need to have been in business for at least two years. Even if you've just been in business for six months, you might get approved by a private lender. There are several significant benefits to obtaining a working capital loan from a lending firm rather than a traditional bank. A bank's processing time for a loan application can be several weeks. However, getting a working capital loan is usually a lot speedier process. It might happen in a matter of hours, providing you with the funds you require in a matter of days. Another thing to think about is the difference between collateral and a loan guarantee. Many banks need collateral in the form of property, equipment, receivables, or anything else that can be used to secure the loan. You're out of luck if you need to liquidate a collateral asset unexpectedly. A company guarantee is still required with a working capital loan, but there is no need to attach specific collateral, allowing you to continue operating your firm. Working capital loans have drawbacks or restrictions. When compared to a traditional bank loan, these loans come with a higher interest rate. Lenders think they're riskier because they're unsecured and have less qualification requirements. To compensate for this, they charge higher fees. A working capital loan is not a good choice for long-term business goals or projects that require more investment capital and a longer repayment period because you acquire money quickly and pay it off quickly. For immediate costs, a working capital loan would be the best option but it would not be the best option to pay off a balloon payment due on a mortgage. Let's talk about bank loans benefits and potential drawbacks. Benefits of bank loans. With no cash on hand, make the purchase. A bank loan's goal is to help people who don't have access to credit. It can aid in the purchase of a home or car by either a business or a person, as well as the acquisition of machinery by businesses. A borrower can request for a loan in any quantity they choose, depending on their creditworthiness. Can assist in the expansion of the business. A bank loan, particularly for commercial and public sector companies, can help them grow. Few companies have sufficient cash flow to fund a large-scale expansion. The only way to create sustainable profitability in today's business climate is to expand. A business loan can be critical for a company that wants to expand. Interest rates that are lower. Bank loans usually have lower interest rates. More adaptability. A bank loan offers more flexibility and can provide long-term benefits. Capital required for day-to-day -day operations. Banks may also give specific loans to help a company fund its day-to-day -day operations. Ownership remains with the borrower. Instead of seeking equity or using venture money, a bank loan allows the company to keep its ownership. Accounting and taxation are two topics that come up frequently. A loan's interest is tax-deductible, and the borrower can plan and prepare for monthly loan payments. Discount is available in cash. Cash discounts are allowed by some creditors, but they are only available when you have cash. A loan may be able to help you obtain the funds you require. The following are some of the potential drawbacks of bank loans. For a loan, a company must have excellent credit. 
when obtaining a loan, the borrower pays a higher amount than the purchase price. The payback schedule for loans is rather stringent. A partial financing requirement, which states that if you want to borrow money, you must invest a particular portion of your own money, might be included in the loan terms. Prepayment penalties and fees apply to some loans. If your loan involves variable rates, there's a chance that interest rates will rise, putting your project at risk. Processing fees are commonly included in loans. At the time of loan renewal, the bank may run a credit check. You can post your legal requirement on UpCouncil's marketplace if you require assistance comprehending the benefits and drawbacks of loan capital. Only the top 5% of lawyers are accepted into UpCouncil's network. UpCouncil lawyers have graduated from Harvard Law School and Yale Law School, and have an average of 14 years of legal experience, including work with or on behalf of firms such as Google, Menlo Ventures, and Airbnb. Let's understand first what exactly is a loan? A loan is money, property, or other material items lent to another party in exchange for future repayment of the loan amount plus interest or other finance charges, plus interest or other finance charges. A loan might be for a specific, one-time amount or an open-ended line of credit with a maximum or ceiling amount. Individuals, businesses, financial institutions, and governments can all provide loans. They provide a means to increase an economy's overall money supply, as well as to increase competition and company operations. Many financial organizations, such as banks, as well as certain shops who use credit facilities, rely on interest and fees from loans as their principal source of revenue. Loans, everything you should know. Depending on the financial criteria, there are numerous types of loans available. A secured or unsecured loan might be given by a bank. People choose secured loans because they have lower interest rates and a larger sum of money accessible, which they can use to buy a car or a house. Unsecured loans are most commonly seen in the form of personal loans, which have a higher interest rate and are typically used for lesser sums such as house renovations. The maximum loan amount is determined by the individual's collateral capacity and credit history. Credit cards, ordinary loans, and credit lines are examples of credit instruments. There are the open-end and closed-end credit distributions are two current consumer credit distributions. The open-end credit, also known as a revolving credit, is a type of credit that can be used again for purchases with a monthly repayment schedule in a situation where paying back the whole amount due each month is not required. Credit cards are a common type of revolving credit, but so are home equity loans and home equity lines of credit. A closed-end credit, on the other hand, is used to fund certain goals over a specific time period. Consumers are forced to follow a monthly payment schedule that includes interest charges until the principal is paid off, making these loans known as installment loans. The process of getting a loan. Before any money or property changes hands, each party in the transaction agrees to the terms of the loan. If the lender asks for collateral, it will be specified in the loan documents. Most loans also have stipulations for the maximum amount of interest that can be charged, as well as other covenants like the period until repayment is needed. Thank you for joining us, hope you will have a beautiful day.